Hello, this is Daniel. Um, I want to show you a cool little tool that uh, I actually use a lot for Python development. And uh, it is called bpython, and it is an alternative REPL or alternative interpreter for uh, the Python programming language. Um, I'm going to show bpython to you in a minute, but to give you a motivating example, let's just boot up the regular Python interpreter here just in my terminal. Right, starts right up. Um, I can go ahead and define uh, a little function here, and uh, I actually have to go in and fix the indentation myself, um, and I need to remember what the print statement is called, or in that case, the print function. Um, so, um, yeah, I want this thing to say hello to whatever uh, the name is that gets passed in, and so we're defining this here. And um, we're going to make it say, hello, Daniel, run it. OK, it works. Uh, that's really cool. But uh, the sad thing really is that we can't, uh, we don't get any syntax highlighting here. So the, this is actually really hard to read if you're used to um, a programming environment uh, like Sublime Text or like a more fancy IDE even. Um, so this is really not that great if you're doing a lot of work in the, the Python REPL here. And then also, um, if you're uh, exploring a new module or a new library, um, then it's a pretty bare bones environment for that too. So let's say we want to play with the math library here and just kind of see what it has to offer. Um, I pretty much have to call the dir function here on it to see what the uh, available um, um, attributes and functions are in here. So um, let's say I'm interested in, in the math.seal function. To get some help on that, I'd have to pretty much type all this stuff out manually. And then um, I get the, the doc string displayed and the function definition for the seal function. So um, that kind of sucks. I lose all my context. I can't see the, the other code I have on my screen here. And uh, it's not super awesome. It gets a job done. Uh, it can be made better with some tweaks uh, to give you autocomplete, but really uh, not much beyond that. So we're going to quit that interpreter by hitting Control D and drop back to the shell. And so what I'm going to show you now is uh, this alternative interpreter that um, is called bpython. Um, and it's pretty much the same thing as Python was before, but it has a couple of extra features that I think make it um, a really, really nice tool and just make uh, playing with the Python REPL a lot more enjoyable. So as I work through this example again, you uh, can already tell that some things are different here. Um, first of all, you get some syntax highlighting here. So we can see that uh, the different tokens in that line are actually also highlighted differently and get different colors, which is really awesome uh, and much, much, much easier on the eyes. Um, we also get a feature um, that does uh, highlighting for matching parentheses, which can also be handy if you're editing like a, a really long string with uh, nested parentheses. And the good news is it actually does the indentation automatically for us this time. So um, as I go ahead and type out my print uh, function here, I can actually use um, the autocomplete that is also offered by bpython. So I can just hit the tab key and it'll run through the different options that were offered here. And um, now I can just uh, keep on going and I saved a couple of characters typing this out. The other really cool thing is, is um, if I make a syntax error in here, so let's say we're using uh, you know the wrong kind of parentheses to complete that line, um, I get the, uh, the syntax error printed out and I can tell, okay, something went wrong. Um, the cool thing is now that I can hit uh, Control R to rewind that last action. And um, it'll uh, even show up here in my history as this kind of ghosted line here. And I can just fix my syntax error and then uh, commit that. And um, I've uh, now defined that say hello function successfully and can give it the same, um, the same uh, example here. And what's also really cool is that, um, just to show it works, as I type this out, um, you can see that I get uh, the function definition for this uh, again, and if it had a doc string, it would also show the doc string. So um, let's clear that out. Um, 
the other cool thing that I found really helpful is um, the autocomplete and help functionality for um, exploring modules or just kind of seeing what modules have to offer. So let's import the math module again. And again, here you can tell it even does autocomplete for these modules. So as I type out M and then A and then T, um, it kind of narrows down the autocomplete until only math is left and we can import it right away. So now, where previously I had to use the dir function, I can just go and type out math and then put a dot. And um, the autocomplete shows me um, all of the symbols or uh, I guess functions and attributes it finds in there that I can then uh, reference. So uh, let's say we're looking for the seal function. Let's just autocomplete it here, type an open parentheses. And now I actually get the uh, function definition and the doc string for that displayed in line. So I don't lose any of my, my context here. I know exactly what I typed before and I can uh, learn all about that is to know about the seal function. And then we're just gonna call it, pass in a value. Yeah, numbers get highlighted differently too. And I think that is really, really awesome. And the good news is you, uh, it doesn't require uh, any configuration at all. Like once you've installed it, you're, you're done and you don't have to fiddle with any interpreter config files to get the functionality that I've just shown you. Um, so again, we're gonna quit this now and uh, I wanna show you real quick how you can install bpython um, if, you haven't, uh, if you haven't installed it already. All right, so you just go ahead and do a uh, pip install bpython. Um, I recommend uh, using sudo for it because um, then it becomes available globally. So this can be handy in some situations. Um, obviously, if you're using a virtual env, then it's probably better to put it in there, but uh, that command will get you started. So if you run that, it'll ask you for your root password. And uh, obviously, I already had it installed, but uh, then you're ready to go and you can jump right in and uh, play with bpython. Um, yeah, let me know how that worked for you and uh, say hi on Twitter if you, if you enjoyed that and want to talk about this stuff. All right, take care.